Hey guys, in the last lecture we implemented the feature for customers to book tickets for a workshop and pay the booking amount via Stripe Charge API. Now in this lecture we will implement feature to send emails to customer after booking the workshop. Okay, so I mean whenever a customer books the workshop using this form we will send a confirmation email to him because it's a good business flow to send emails to customers or users of your site as a confirmation once they pay amount for their order okay for example if you pay some amount for your e-commerce order like for example let's say you have ordered something on amazon and then right after paying amount for that order you will get an email into your inbox okay so this is considered to be a good practice to send confirmation emails okay so let's start doing that first add the letter opener gem into your gem file to preview emails into browser okay so open the letter opener gem in browser okay and click on the link and from here you can copy this letter opener gem okay and paste it inside your development and test group okay so just copy this from here and open the gem file okay and into this gem file just paste this uh, letter opener gem inside here you can paste it inside below the dot env rails gem okay save it and go to the terminal and run bundle install after installing the bundle again go to the gem documentation and uh, just copy these lines uh, these are the settings for configuration settings for the letter opener gem so copy these lines and paste it into your development.rb okay so go to the project directory again and open the development.rb and inside the development.rb you can paste it uh, paste these lines at the bottom okay paste it and save okay let's correct the indentation here as well save this and now we need to move towards the next step for creating this mailer so open the project in terminal okay and run the command to generate the mailer okay so come back to the terminal okay and here we need to generate uh, generate a command yes uh, run a command to generate the mailer okay so to create a mailer what we do usually rails the mailer okay and here you can provide your mailers names okay so i'm providing my mailer name is bookings lg mailer bookings and inside this mailer i want an action uh, let's say that action must be booking confirmation okay so i am adding a method here or an action here booking confirmation when i run this command this will generate a bookings mailer for me okay which you can find inside the app mailers okay so open the project directory and here inside the app mailers you can find this bookings mailer okay and you can also find the views for this bookings mailer inside the app views with booking underscore mailer okay and here you can find the two files for this booking confirmation email one is in html format and one is in text format okay so we can remove this text format file because we don't need that okay so just delete it right now and close this development.rb as well and this gem file as well okay now let's open the booking mailer and start implementing the booking confirmation action okay first uh, remove these commented lines because we don't need that it is added here by default okay and now we need to customize this book okay, we need to read a uh, override this booking confirmation email method okay but first let's discuss what we're gonna display in this email okay we will display workshop title customer name and booking details okay so we need to pass booking instance to this action or this mailer action as an argument and we can get customer and workshop from this booking instance why because we have association with uh, we have association of bookings with customer and workshop okay so here we will accept the argument so write it uh, let's say booking okay and now remove these lines as well because we don't need that and 
let's remove this for now we will add some dynamic email here and now get this booking into a instance variable okay we need this in at the rate variable a, a with at the rate symbol why because we will reflect the booking details on the view file okay so we need to uh, we need to define booking with the at the rate symbol okay so now booking and here you can define at the rate customer equal to customer and sorry booking dot customer and here at the rate workshop equal to booking dot workshop this and now let's update that we will send this email to customer so here we can use at the rate customer dot email because the customer is our recipient or recipient of this email and here you can add the subject as well and in the subject you can write let's say booking confirmation for booking confirmation for workshop name so we what we can do here interpolate this thing so at the rate workshop dot name okay and just save the file now we implemented this method it's time to open the view template for this method and we need to update text there okay so open the booking confirmation dot html dot trv from the app use booking mirrors and remove the existing content because we don't need that okay and now here we will implement our own text so let's uh, write here uh, view class all lg and mx auto and inside this div class what we can do we can create a card element here so let's add to class card and then provide some shadow and inside this card let's first add the header so to class card header close it and inside this header let's provide a heading to the header so we can add an h4 element it's for class card title and what we can do here booking confirmation okay, and save this now we need to define a card body to display the email content okay so below the card header we, you can define div class card body okay. and just inside this body what we can do First, you can write, let's say, H1, H1. and here you, we can write uh, some formal message like, let's say, greetings from webinary. And uh, after this H1, we can add another text, let's say, H3. And here we will write the customer name. Okay, so here we will do hello at the rate customer dot full name. Okay, customer dot full name. Okay, and after this S3, we need to display some message here. So we can add class, we can add a P tag here, class lead. And inside this paragraph what we can write your booking for and now provide the workshop name in a strong tag so what we can do for workshop name is I just interpolate it at the red workshop dot name dot name Has been confirmed
please find the details booking details below save it and after this message we need to define some booking details like uh, how many tickets have been booked what amount has been paid and what is the schedule of workshop okay so here we can simply add uh, let's say some booking details okay so let's add h3 element and with h3 what we can do here booking details okay and here we can add let's say p class and into this p class we can add a strong tag and with this strong tag we can add number of tickets and here we can provide at the booking dot number of tickets because we have that attribute inside the booking model so at the rate booking dot number of tickets okay and what the next booking details that we can provide that how much amount has been paid for that okay so just copy this and here we can provide Let's copy this again. And here we can provide amount paid. So remove this number of tickets and amount paid. Okay. And here booking dot amount paid. Paid. Save this and add an HR here below this paragraph element because now we need to display some workshop schedule as well so you can add an s3 element here and inside that s3 element we can add workshop schedule okay and in here in this workshop schedule what we can add that uh, from which date to which date workshop will last and every day what will be the schedule so you can just simply copy the show dot uh, open the show dot html dot erb of workshops and you can copy these h4 elements where we already write the code to display workshop total duration and workshop daily duration okay so now close this and paste it here and just correct the indentation okay. now save this file now we need to do one more change that since we used some bootstrap classes here inside the mailer template okay so you need to make sure to include the bootstrap css into the mailer layout as well but including assets like application.css or js will not work in mailer layout okay so we can add the bootstrap 5 cdn here okay uh, so let me explain what I mean here that here you can see in application.html.trv that we have a style sheet link tag in JavaScript import map, import map tags and this way will not work inside the mailer template. Okay, here we need to implement either inline styles or we either we need to add the CDN here. Okay, so to add the bootstrap uh, to get the effect of bootstrap inside the mailer template what we can do we can simply add the CDN of the bootstrap five here okay so let's go to the browser and open the bootstrap 5 official site and from bootstrap 5 you can copy the cdn of css bootstrap 5 css okay so let's go to the top and you can copy this cdn and open the mailer layout now and above the style page you can paste this link okay and now save this Okay. now it's time to call this mailer to send the email okay so open the bookings controller and call this mailer right after you creating the booking so just to go to the controllers and into the bookings controller you can see that uh, what we are doing here we are creating at the rate booking with this feature this function okay with this query sorry okay now here you need to call your bookings mailer okay so what you can simply do that uh, just uh, copy this booking smeller okay and uh, come to the controller here and here you can write booking confirmation 
and then just pass the at the rate booking instance here okay because we are accepting the book or we because we are accepting an argument here as booking okay so we need to pass this so let's pass this booking as argument to the mailer and just write deliver now okay. and save this file and we are all set to send the email to customers after creating his booking for a workshop but before trying this mailer let's do one more change so now open the application mailer and change the default from email okay which you can find in mail application mailer so here you can see that it is the default sending e sender email is from at that example.com okay but suppose if you want to change this then what you can do so you can update this default so let's add no reply at the rate webinary dot com okay and now save this okay. and this changes just to show that how you can change the default sender email in your mailer okay and now let's try to create a booking for a customer and once you submit the booking form you will see the mail preview open into the next step okay so but before doing that let's restart your server because we added letter opener gem after starting the server so we need to restart to send to see the email preview okay so we restarted the server now now go to the browser and refresh the workshop detail page and now here we can provide the information let's say provide martin king and here we can provide martin king at the red example.com let's provide some contact number here and suppose martin wants to book 20 seats for this workshop okay and now provide the card number so we can provide test card number 4242 okay and now provide the cvv let's say one two three month 12 and year 23 okay and now make some space at the terminal and click on the book your tickets now and when you submit this form you can see at the terminal that uh, Okay, you can see at the terminal that the customer has been created, customer updated with the Stripe customer ID, booking has been created and right after creating the booking, we see that we can see that a mail has been sent in, a mailer preview has been opened. Okay, it means a mail has been sent to the customer. Okay, so now you can preview this email into the browser like this. Okay, so here you can see that we change the from email inside the application dot uh, application mailer. You can see the subject like this dynamic subject booking confirmation for full stack not development bootcamp and here you can see that we designed a basic bootstrap layout for our mailer template okay however if you want you can do a you can do more better style for your email template okay but uh, i'm not strong in that area so i just use a very basic uh, layout for this mail template however if you wish you can do more style with you can apply more style to that template okay but the purpose was is to how to send email after creating a booking okay for the customers okay and that's it so let's give this mailer a try at your end and if you wish you can do more work on styling the email template for this mailer okay and that's all from this lecture let's meet into the next lecture where we will do some work with bootstrap 5 and show the flash messages using bootstrap alert okay till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe